Congrats to Georgia Tech. That's that's a great win. Um, it was a uh, obviously a heck of a basketball game, um, and they made some incredibly timely shots at the end of the game, um, multiple threes, um, with their back against the wall, and that you know got it, gave them the opportunity to win the game. We uh, we just didn't quite close it out. Uh, hate hate it for my guys. I uh, thought we. Poured a lot into it. Uh, had good prep. Um, I thought, you know, we guarded them very well for a while, a long while. Um, they've been very dynamic here offensively uh, recently. They were outstanding against Duke. Um, but obviously, when you look at the stats, the the easy thing to, to look at again is, you know, we're three for twenty one, maybe from three, and they're fifteen for thirty five, and twelve three difference is just. 36 points is a lot to overcome. Um, so, you know, we just got to hang in here. Um, we got off to the great start this year. We were stumbled here a little bit, but uh, there's still room to, to get it figured out. Um, this one hurts because, you know, we, ha we had a nice win on Saturday. We're trying to build something and then didn't quite close this one out. We had it uh, in our grasp. And, again, to Georgia Tech's credit, they made, they made a lot of shots uh, down the stretch. So, with that, questions? Obviously, just nine of their last ten shots in the game made. Felt like it. Defensively that you, could have done um, you know, obviously, we could have fouled up three. Um, it was kind of in that, we, you know, sometimes I foul, sometimes I don't foul. I've won and lost both ways. You know, it was kind of in that, that zone where, there could still be enough time. I think they got the ball back with 12 seconds, and, you know, you'd love to tell your guys, all right, foul with four, right? Um, but, it, you know, then then in, the lower the clock gets, the more guys are about ready to shoot it, and you're, you're bringing in fouling a three-point shooter. And so, um, you know, we just decided to try to guard him, and I think Dylan got screened, made a mistake, and, uh, you know, they made a big shot. Um, yeah, I mean, in hindsight, maybe we should have tried a zone or done something, something, you know, a little bit, because uh, it it didn't work. So, I mean, we'll look at it, and you know, I think to their credit, I just I think they do think they made some some big time shots too. Yeah, you played a three guard lineup on Thursday. Yeah. What was the matchup wise? Or was just it yeah, trying to ha trying to deal with them. Um, you know, they've their their guard play has been. Outstanding that the kid Nathan George, wow, what a talented freshman. Um, I said halfway through the first half or late in the first half, I told my staff that kid's unbelievably impressive because he, the way he carries himself during the game, you can tell he thinks he's maybe the best player out there. And, uh, you know, he was one of the best ones out there today. He was just supremely confident. And uh, so, you know, we, we started Dylan to help our defense. I think defensively, you know, if you take away the last shots, maybe in the last two to three minutes, our defense was pretty good. I think we had them at 60 with, I don't even know, I remember maybe it was 2.30, three minutes to go, four minutes maybe, but I think it was less than four minutes. We were up 68-60, so we're guarding the heck out of them. Um, but obviously we couldn't couldn't finish it. We had a couple mistakes on some some pistol action that they, they ran late. That we've guarded in the past, and and we just had a couple of mental lapses, and they made some shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I think that's, you know, that's what's hard about college basketball is you you can do that, and it doesn't always work out. And uh, you know, but as a competitor, you got to man up. You got to you got to you know recharge your battery, and you got to get ready to go again. Obviously, the we're off tomorrow, which is good. We need an off day. I think this is our ninth day in a row, um, and guys are fatigued. Obviously, not just physically, but mentally. Um, the stress of all the meetings and everything that we do, and the walkthroughs and the film, and um, you know. Um, I, I've just got to keep reminding our team that we're a good team, and uh, you know we we can put together another win streak 
Um, but we do have to fix a few things. We got to get a little bit better. Um, I thought we got better defensively tonight. Um, that was what we've been talking about, uh, trying to fix. And, uh, you know, we also have to make some more timely shots. I mean, at the end of the day, like you go back and watch our Alabama game and the shot making we made in the last 10 minutes of the game was huge. I mean, it's why we won the game in Alabama. We, we made the big time shots, the big time threes. Um, you know, so there does come an element of here. You, you know, on offense, you got to finish some plays, um, and then defensively, you you got to stop them. And uh, you know, I thought we we did enough of both for you know thirty seven minutes, but that's not that's not forty or fifty, which is what we needed. It's just part of it. I mean, no, I mean, it's, yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, there's a school day and guys have class and, you know, um, obviously it doesn't have any bearing on the, on the outcome of the game. We were, we were fine. Um, but yeah, these are college kids with a lot to do during the day on a school day. And, um, you know, they got to get up and go to class in the morning. So part of it. Um, yeah, he did fine, you know, I, I, right now defensively, you know, I think he can help us with his length and size and experience. He's an experienced guy. Um, you know, he's still kind of learning all of our offensive stuff. Um, cause he really hasn't, unfortunately hasn't practiced very much. Um, you know, it's, it's been a real challenge both for him and for our staff. Um, so, but at least. He was able to get out there and play a few minutes and get his feet wet. And, you know, I'm hopeful that the trainer says on Thursday that he's going to be okay to, you know, we might have to manage some things again with practice, but hopefully he'll be okay to keep going. Did you like the late shots of CJ and Teal? You said they felt both of them felt great coming out of the game. Yeah, I mean, the, the, yeah, the play we ran, I think the play we ran to when we're down three is the same play we ran that Amir made the shot at North Carolina when we won up there, down three. And we ran the same play for Amir, and he knocked it in. And um, PJ just missed it, you know. I mean, it's that's it's part of it. I mean, I'd give him another look like that tomorrow. Um, but unfortunately, today it didn't go. What about Chef Williams cramping? Yeah, yeah, just cramping. And that's happened to him a little bit here recently um, but I mean it should be fine he's had some lower leg stuff though that's been hard we're trying to watch some of his minutes as well at times or not so much in games but practicing and things like that I guess considering the cramp thing is sort of the play the way he did with 20 points yeah I don't think it affected his play the only thing it affected is there a couple times I had to take him out when I probably didn't want to because um, he was playing so well